Thank you so much for patiently awaiting my return. My dad came down from New Jersey for a few weeks, so it was really great over the past couple weeks getting to spend time with him, hanging out with my family. Spring break happened. Actually, now that I'm saying it, a lot of things happened. Anyway, now that I'm back in my routine, I've got some really fun, exciting new content ideas, but I figured I'd kick off my return to YouTube with a few general updates. Welcome to my channel. My name is Sarah and I have been sharing my weight loss journey here on YouTube since April of 2020. Since then, I have lost 125 pounds and I did that through diet, exercise, and in August of 2022, I had a bariatric surgical procedure called VSG, which stands for vertical sleeve gastrectomy. I continue to share all the different aspects of my weight loss journey, including what I'm doing right now to maintain my weight and build muscle. So if you want to learn from my experience, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It really does help my channel a lot and I promise that I'm sharing valuable content regularly with you. I also want to say a big thank you to all of my returning subscribers as well. I appreciate you for being here. So truly a lot has happened over the last couple of weeks and it was a little crazy there for a minute. Of all the different things that happened while my dad was visiting, we had a car wreck, which thankfully nobody was hurt. It was just an accident. It was spring break, so everybody was home. I just started my job, as you know, so I didn't have a ton of time off. So I did get to spend a few days over spring break with my family, which was really, really nice. Then we randomly had a sewer main break in my backyard, and my backyard was literally flooded with, yeah, you guessed it, raw sewage. It was just a wild couple of weeks, but I'm glad all of that is behind me now and I can move forward and do some more fun things. Speaking of fun things, there is one major, major thing that happened while I was away and I will, you know what? I'll introduce you to that new thing. Hang on one second. Over my break, we adopted a new furry family member. This is Solo. Solo is a Basset Hound and Corgi mix, which is an interesting combination. He's just a puppy. He's just 10 weeks old now. I picked him up when he was eight weeks old and he is a little rascal, but he's also quite the love bug. <laughs> I adore him already. So having a new furry family member is a lot of fun, but it is also a lot of work. You have to teach them how to go in the crate. You have to teach them how to potty outside. There's just so much that you have to do. And then just generally, no biting, generally keeping them out of trouble, which is a good time too. So this is Solo. I'll hold them up here. Say hi. You gonna say hi? Not really. He's not really much of a lap dog, which is fine. He shouldn't be. He's gonna probably be around 50-ish pounds when he's full grown, maybe less. I guess we'll find out uh, in the near future. But as he grows up, he'll be spending a lot of time with me. So um, be sure to keep an eye out for him on the channel in future videos. Right, buddy? You good boy? Yes, you are. Now, outside of all that, as you know, I was working on my Lift Heavy February challenge and I just didn't get time to create the wrap up video for that month, which is totally fine because guess what? I never stopped lifting heavy. I love it so, so much. It has just become my normal routine. Since I started my personal weightlifting challenge, along with the challenge that I signed up for at my gym, um, Crunch Fitness was having a, what they call transformation challenge. That's about to wrap up here. I'm actually on week eight of the challenge right now. Out of the entire program, I've only missed one class and that was because I was going to meet with the puppy. So I missed that very first class, but I attended every single one since then and I think it's going really great. So what I'm going to do is once the challenge wraps up, which it's over this week and I have my final weigh-in and in-body scan at the gym on Tuesday, April 9th, I'm going to put together one full video of my results. Now I already know where I was at at the halfway point and 
I think I'm crushing it. I think I'm doing a really good job. So I'm curious to see the final results and get kind of that information. So I'll have lots of data points to share with you. I wasn't very scientific about my lift heavy February challenge and I sh probably should have been. So I'm gonna use my results and progress reports from not only my personal training at the gym, but from the transformation challenge, since they all kind of ramped up around the same time, I think it will make sense and we can see how my progress did. But let me tell you, I think I may slightly be addicted to lifting heavier weights. It is just so much more challenging and you don't realize how much of it is mental. So it's like a great release when I get into the gym and I just push or pull heavy things, pick them up and put them down. It's not something I thought I would ever really enjoy. If you've been following my channel for a long time, I've spoken in the past many, many times about how like, I don't like weightlifting and now I love it and I'm doing it anywhere from three to four times a week. So you never know what'll happen. Life is crazy. The last thing I wanted to bring up today were some changes and improvements I'm wanting to do here on my YouTube channel. I've been thinking about these things for quite some time, but I wanted to get your feedback. Obviously, you're the one watching my video. What you think means a lot to me. In fact, it means the most to me. So please be candid in your feedback down below. I want to hear what you think about the changes that that I'm considering right now. So the first thing I want to do is I do want to change my channel name. I feel like Lose Weight Sarah was very specific to my weight loss journey and now that I'm really not trying to lose weight anymore, it doesn't have the same like personal feeling to me. I think I'll probably change it to just my name or the nickname that I use all the time um, on different social media, which is Sarah OMG. I have a couple of other ideas for channel names that I might consider. I don't really know. I've kind of been wishy-washy. You know, I've established myself as Lose Weight Sarah, but at the same time, it doesn't really feel connected to me as it did while I was trying to lose weight. And I'm almost two years post-op now. I don't wanna talk about weight loss forever. There's only so much that I can say, especially as somebody who has met their goal, who is maintaining, who is, you know, sharing everything you know as it comes up without just regurgitating like the same information over and over again i don't think that's really something that would be you know of value to you essentially so if i make some changes i would add content i wouldn't take away content i really would just try to do some more like other different things, maybe more fashion videos, maybe, you know, being a little bit more experimental there. Um, I really am opinionated on like movies and TV. So I was even thinking maybe I could do some commentary. One thing I will never do on this channel is critique other people on a weight loss journey. I think there are plenty of channels that do that. And some of them are, you know, nicer than others, but that is not a type of content I want to pursue but what I would like to ask you is what do you want to hear from somebody who has already lost weight met their goal is maintaining is muscle building I feel like I share a lot of the same things over and over again I don't want it to get boring but at the same time I want you to come here and get what you need to support you in your journey so again please Go down to the comments. Let me know what you think. I want to hear your thoughts. It's very, very important to me. The other thing I'm thinking about bringing back, if you have been here a long time, you know I used to do a live stream weight loss support group. I'm very, very excited and interested to do that again. However, there is gonna be a little caveat this time. I am going to put that behind a channel membership. I'm not gonna go crazy, you know, expensive or anything like that. If you've ever live streamed on YouTube or pretty much any other platform, uh, it's very easy to get kind of inundated with like trolls and troll comments. And without having a bunch of moderators involved, it can be a lot to manage. It can be very distracting while you're live streaming. A good example of that, actually, I was experimenting a couple of weeks ago with the vertical live streaming that YouTube now does. And I was only live streaming for five minutes and had to kick two people out of the 
live stream because they were leaving these just nasty troll comments. It was really, really shocking for the, especially the length of time that I had been live. I was like, really? Are people just sitting there waiting to jump onto a live stream and say nasty things to people? That's crazy to me. And it's not so much the comments that get to me, it's the managing it and the distraction that it causes from what I actually want to say. I don't wanna to have to deal with that, hence I am going to put that behind membership. It would be for members only, but I'm thinking of doing it two times a month, probably on Sunday morning or early Sunday afternoon. Maybe we would alternate, like do one on Sunday Sunday, do one on Wednesday evening. I'm not 100% sure yet. I, I am going to be sitting and planning it out. I wanted to see, first of all, if that's something that you're interested in. Uh, again, I would keep it general weight loss support, so not just for bariatric patients. I think it could be absolutely for anybody. I would do it a lot on topics um, that are relative to like the mental aspect of a weight loss journey as opposed to just you know, uh, how do you lose weight or, you know, how do you count calories, that sort of thing. If you would be interested in that, please leave me a comment below. Let me know. Let me know what you think. Again, please don't hold back your thoughts. Your feedback is so super important to me. And I want to, you know, as my channel grows, I've actually grown a hundred subscribers in just the last couple um, of weeks while I wasn't even uploading content. So I know there are a lot of new faces here on my channel. If that's you, I'm so excited you're here and your opinion matters as well. Like tell me what brought you here and what would keep you here essentially. I hope that you are as excited about these updates as I am. I think there's a lot of awesome stuff in the future, not only of my YouTube channel, but of my life. So I'm very, very excited for this kind of next chapter and what that looks like. If you hang in there with me for just a few more weeks, I will get you the results from not only my gym transformation challenge, but my lifting heavy challenge. They have been going on simultaneously. And then we'll be rolling out some new stuff. I've got some cool video ideas in the works that I'm really excited to share with you. And I just want to say I appreciate you so much. Your feedback, your opinions, and you showing up here and supporting not only me, but each other in the comments. I see that when it's going on it means so much to me because that's really what I want and have always wanted here on my YouTube channel is just a big supportive community that is encouraging each other um, to do one of the hardest things there is out there and weight loss is, is really hard. If you made it this far in the video, leave a paw print emoji to welcome Solo to the family. And until next time, I'll see you real soon. Bye.